Hey guys, Serge here with the February 17th, 1942 combat replay for my 1v1 against Invictus on War of the Pacific Admirals Edition. Let's jump right in and see what happens. I did pull out a Changsha as well as Cyan. ASW off of Hokkaido and Honshu. Nothing happens. My ASW attack near Laysan Island. Ooh. Ooh, Allied Radar detects Japanese force. 7,000 yards. This is gonna be bloody. Hit him, Houston. Yes! Belt armor pen, engine damage. Hell yeah. A three inch gun hit the Kuma. Then eight inch on the Kuma. Severe damage. Well, it started off really nice, but the Japanese haven't been able to really return fire yet. I don't know what Upperworks carried away means, but we did that to the Ashigara. Range closes to 3,000 yards. We got hit. Houston gets hit. Fires. We hit the Yoshigara, pen his armor again. Fires blow deck. Come on. Hit him! Another a six inch gun hit on the Yoshigara. Even a six inch gun will damage a heavy cruiser at 3,000 yards. Come on. Four inch gun hit. Six inch gun hit on the Ashigara. We're definitely focusing down the Ashigara, which is great. 150 maybe? I think it's a 5 inch hit. It's a 150 is 6 inch. Ooh, Alden get takes a big hit. Range increases back to 7,000 yards. Eight inch gun hit on the Kuma again. Critical damage, internal explosions. Kuma might sink. Maybe not might, I think Kuma is gonna sink. Another six inch hit on the Ashigara. So many torpedoes. Oh, there goes the Alden. <laughs> it's not surviving a torpedo hit. It already took a lot of damage. I'd rather the Alden get hit than everything else. And the Alden sinks. No, he just showed him my guns on the Houston. I'm trying to read the messages and look at the and look at this the actual like screen battle screen. 
Six inch hit on the Kuma. Another hit. Combat at eight thousand yards. No, the Dene gets it by torpedo. Multiple five inch hits as well on the Dene. And that's gonna sink it. A second torpedo. Nagatsuki takes a deck penetration from a four inch gun. Why aren't my torpedoes hitting anything? I have plenty of torpedoes. There goes the Dene. Ooh, the Sagiri collides with the Hakaze. Another 8 inch hit on the Houston. I am going to speed through the rest of this. Range is increasing. Uh, Ashigar took 11 hits and has heavy fires. The Kuma has took 5 hits and has heavy fires. The Hakaze has heavy damage that was a part of the collision. Nagatsuki and Murasami both took one hit. Houston, three hits and is on fire. The Dene is sunk. The Alden is sunk. Firing some Mark 10s at a DD and we miss off of Balak Poppin and San Marinda. Bunch of AKs. Was hoping to actually get these AKs because there's troops on these AKs. And he hit more mines, probably at Mersing, where I put more mines underneath his feet. His W attack off of the coast of Honshu and Hokkaido. Something of his sinks is probably the Kuma. Or maybe whatever hit the mine. Probably the thing that hit the mine, actually. He hit a lot more mines. And it looks like we find two escort ships. Nice. We sink both the Saga and the Sh Shimushu. Onto the air AM phase. Air strikes. Oh no, this ain't good. <laughs> He's gotten wise to my antics. Oh, this is gonna put a very a long stop to my antics. No, he has Betty's on naval strike. Where are they even coming from? Damn it! I think oh, there's I don't Kuala Lumpur is that? Is that Kuala? No. Trump and the Houston both take hits. Oh, now there's the Nels hitting the AKLs that are trying to sneak some supply in. But those are gonna get sunk. They do. Bombing Singapore finally again. He loses two ants. Some more bombers over Singapore. <coughs> bombing in China. Probably we'll see bombing in the Philippines as well. I am pulling the guys from Cyan into one of the better defensive hexes. 
Get him out of clear terrain. I don't even want to watch because... Ah, uh, no. I'm going to lose so many bombers. I don't even want to watch. We actually get any hits though? Uh, we hit a couple of zeros on the ground. But yeesh, look at that. All those bomber losses. Definitely not worth the hits I got. And then they're just gonna keep trickling in. Which is even worse than if they just all went in at once. And they get hit on the way out. That's a lot of damage liberators. I might get some ops losses from those. Plenum's gonna get slaughtered. And they do. Oh, damn it. He finally got wise to my antics. And I've also seen Insignia. He's sending three AA regiments, battalions to Saigon as well. So I'm trying to intercept him with subs. Oh, they apparently destroyed a zero. No, no, go away, Nels. Go away. You are not welcome here. Another sweep over Singapore. That was just the AM phase, oh no. This ain't gonna be good. No! Come on. Maybe I'll get some ops losses on these. 15. No, not the Houston. No. Oh, Houston sunk. That's three torpedoes. Go away. Go away. And the Cape Town's gonna sink too. That small light cruiser ain't gonna survive. Two torpedoes. Oh, the Trump gets hit as well. The Trump sinks. Damn, all the other raids like didn't really do much, and then these 15 Nels just like saved his entire airstrike. Be in the land phase now. I just gotta hope he doesn't attack at Singapore so I can get level 2 forts back. Uh, more stuff at say Marimba. He takes a few casualties on loading. Does a tag. Come on, hold, hold, hold the line. Aussie brigades are starting to get hit. They reduce forts to one. 
He takes 3,600 casualties, loses 59 squads with 54 disabled, 3 engineers, 50 disabled, 34 guns, 29 disabled, 6 vehicles, 17 disabled. I take 1,284 casualties. I lose 117 squads with 57 disabled, 6 engineers, and 23 disabled. 21 guns, 22 disabled, and one vehicle with 14 disabled. He's still moving even more troops in here. Attack at Sinkawang. And naturally he does take it. Deliberate attack at St. Marinda. Probably will take this as well. He doesn't. The adjusted gets. He gets really screwed on the adjusted. No, he really doesn't take any casualties. Uh, oh, he chased me into the jungle at Rabal. He loses four guys, and I lose a gun. All that's really left here is the 25 pounders of the Lark Battalion. I think it's making me bombard because he landed more troops. I definitely didn't order that. Christchurch expands forts to level 1. Skip through all of that stuff. I get some AKs. Get a Corvette. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a bunch of stuff rolling around. Get the 194th Tank Battalion reformed from Batan. That's going to take a little bit to rebuild. Uh, the Kowloon Brigade is actually up to like 90 AV already, so it's building up really nicely. A lot of the stuff that is rebuilding, that had to rebuild, is building up really quick actually, which is great. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one.